Welcome back to Close Up. Joe Biden just wrapped up his second campaign visit to New Hampshire. He made stops in Berlin, Plymouth, Concord, and Manchester. And while it's clear there are a lot of voters out there, many of them older, who are ready to cast a ballot for Biden right now, there were some bumps in the road last week for the former VP. Here to discuss is New Hampshire Press Association Lifetime Achievement <laughs> winner, John DeStaso. John, congratulations you, on the award. Thank you so and, much. Uh, thanks Very for being nice here today. you to say that. So a um, couple of rakes stepped on by the Biden campaign last week. <laughs> One of them, it, yeah. uh, this climate plan, a climate action plan without citations. Why does that matter more for Joe Biden? Well, because uh, 30 years ago, Joe Biden was kind of caught in true, true plagiarism. Uh, with respect to uh, uh, labor leader, uh, British labor leader Neil Kinnock, uh, not to get too in the weeds, but he, Biden lifted some, lifted complete passages from his speech. And then further investigations showed that he had been in some plagiarism trouble even in law school. So, I mean, that was a long time ago, but it's kind of a reminder. And it's certainly the, you know, the media uh, jumped on it. And Will it be a, a lasting effect? Uh, I don't. I don't think so. I think the, but I think the overall plan that he put out didn't seem to have the depth of some of the other candidates. Uh, but again, uh, you were on the trail with him, Adam. Um, the reaction he was getting in terms of that. And yeah, is that what he, that's what he was coming here for. Yeah, he came here for the climate plan up in Berlin, and he started out with it, and then he looked out the window and said, this is God's country up here. And then he kind of went off on some tangents, as Joe Biden often does. Yeah, uh, right. and, and, you know, people didn't seem to mind. That kind of comes with the territory w with, uh, with Joe Biden. But clearly, you could tell that some of the more the national media people and the campaign people, there was some kind of, you know, consternation over, gosh, well, the, the message discipline just isn't there. But that's, that's who Joe Biden is, I guess. So it's going to be, you're right, it's tough to say where that's going to play. The other thing that came up, though, is this Hyde Amendment, uh, which is the federal uh, the ban on most uh, abortion funding. Uh, what happened there with the campaign's evolution on this? Well, instead of kind of figuring out early in, in, in the campaign what, what Joe Biden's position was going to be on the Hyde Amendment, whether he was going to stick to the position that he had had for many years, uh, being in favor of the Hyde Amendment, which um, uh, does not allow the use of federal funding for most abortions, with the, of course, the obvious exceptions. Uh, he went out and said first to a, 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 an ACLU voter, uh, not in New Hampshire but in another state, that, he, that, it, that it should end. But then his campaign backtracked and said that he is still in favor of the Hyde Amendment. And then last, uh, on Thursday night, uh, he went back and said, no, he's now opposed to the Hyde Amendment because it's uh, kind of outdated. And uh, again, it's it's just a, a matter of, of discipline. And I was just surprised that uh, this kind of wasn't addressed early on with the experts that he has on his campaign. Uh, let's figure this out before we go out and announce it, before we kind of get backed into a corner. And if he was going to take this position in terms of uh, reproductive rights, it's it's kind of incongruous to do that in a strong way and still be in favor of the Hyde Amendment. And yet an indication of where the Democratic Party is headed in this primary that it looks like, I mean, again, this is another step to the left. Yes, and his, his he's kind of being, he may not acknowledge it, but he's being nudged and outright pushed there by his, by his competitors. I mean, he was, under, he was under a firestorm from Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, Kamala Harris, et cetera, et cetera, uh, when, before he went back to opposing the Hyde Amendment, when he doubled down on being in favor of it. And then after that criticism, that's, that's when he said in uh, Atlanta on Thursday night, no, now I'm, a, now I'm opposed to the, uh, to the Hyde Amendment. So, you know, will this matter in the long run? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, but because we have a long way to go. Uh, I guess he's just kind of lucky it didn't happen with two or three weeks to go before the Iowa caucus and the New Hampshire primary. Right. It'll be interesting to see what sticks and what doesn't in exactly. this cycle, especially yeah. in the age of Donald Trump. And we have the uh, debates president. coming up. I was just going to say, right. uh, we'll, he will be under fire because he's a front runner anyway. And this will be another sort of, uh, you know, area where he can 
he's going to have to defend himself on the stage. Right. Uh, it was a huge weekend uh, last weekend in California. All of the candidates there for a state party convention, yeah. and a lot of talk of where well, candidates. Oh well, why aren't you in California? Which sounds a lot like what we usually do here. Why aren't you in New Hampshire? Right. Sounding more and more like uh, a quote unquote similar election. Uh, so you've spoken to Bill Gardner, the Secretary of State, recently. This is in, on his radar, but is he tipping his hand at all about what he thinks? Um, I think he's becoming a little bit concerned about it. That's just my read of somebody who I've known for many, many years. Uh, he's certainly paying attention to it. But don't ex we should not expect Bill Gardner to say really anything of any definitive, in any definitive way for a long time, because he's not going to set the date of the New Hampshire primary until uh, the fall of... Uh, of this year. this year. So we shall see. I think that he has certainly been in contact with people in California uh, and they've been talking about it. Uh, but it's, again, is it a similar election? Uh, we'll have to wait and see what Bill Gardner says. All right. John DeStaso, thanks for your insight. As always, of course. Thank much you. appreciated.